Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Life Themed Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another What Sold on eBay video. Now, this one, we're going to be highlighting what was sold on Monday, August 3rd, 2020. So, it was a pretty good day yesterday. Um, I sold a really nice consignment item for the church, so I'm glad about that. But um, three of the items I've already sent out um, when I did uh, yesterday's mailing. So, just to tell you what those are... It was a two-pack VHS special um, Devil Hunter Yoko anime. I have no idea, but that is a bolo. If you ever find anime on VHS, grab it because they seem to be going pretty well. Every time I've gotten um, anime, it goes. This It was a two-pack I sold for $11. Not bad. I mean, it's a small price, but if you could get it for like a really cheap price or get it for free... Might as well, you can make a little extra dollars. Then, I sold my second comic book. I did a He-Man comic book. Sold that for $10.99. And then the third item I sold, um, I wish I had a picture of it, but it was actually one of those STEM kits of building a monster truck. And STEM being um, science, technology, engineering, math. But it's a um, discovery, build-your-own kit that you can actually... Um, uh, like remote control and it's a monster truck. It looked really, really cool. Um, I ended up getting that at uh, a garage sale and I only paid 50 cents for it. Turned around, I sold it for $19.99. So I'm very happy with that. Then the next thing, well, I get to show you now. I sold a collection. These were freebie magazines and obviously I've already wrapped them up. But these 14 different needle craft cross-stitching, quilting magazines. I had this up, believe it or not, for $27 because quilting magazines go really, really well. So I had this up for $27. Somebody offered me $17.76. How patriotic. So I had to accept it because, you know, something. I've been sitting on these for a while and they were freebie magazines anyway. So for $17.76, they can have this. But I just found it funny of all the offers they could do. Let's go with the patriotic offer. So they got the 14 um, cross-stitch magazines. Then I sold, and this is actually funny because I got a collection. I've got, oh, how do I describe this? I got a ton of books in. And currently the books are actually still outside. <laughs> I haven't even brought them in the house. And it turns out while I was waiting to be picked up, I was outside. I'm like, you know something? Let me just start putting things on. My husband walked in, so sorry about that. Um, so I was outside waiting for a ride. I have all my books outside. And I thought, you know something? Let me start putting stuff up. And I just opened up the children's books because I'm like, let me just bundle up the children's books. So I'm sitting there with my phone of all things, and I'm going click, 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 click. Well, guess what? I sold a six-pack of children's books, and it's pretty cool. I have, um, these are all classic ones. We have the Bailey School Kids, Blubber, My Teacher Glows in the Dark, Boxcar Children, Help I'm Trapped in My Principal's Bodies, and Fright Time, Three Spines, Tingling Tales, for young readers. I think this is a great summer reading book. Uh, they're in good condition. I just put like um, acceptable. I usually do that. Um, they ended up selling this for $10. And the fact they did that is because I'm not going to get anything for these. So if I bundle them up, sell them for a, a great deal. Shipping is only going to cost like $4. It's still a five, $6 profit. So very happy about that. Oh, and, and of course, all those books were free, so that's why I do this. <laughs> then I sold a very, very thin book. This is a Kung Fu Animal Power on the Tiger. It's all um, Kung Fu using the tiger form of Kung Fu. And there's pictures. It's a how-to. There's all kinds of kanji and everything like that. Very interesting read. It's in excellent condition, but it's thin. Um, sold this book for $13. That is another bolo when it comes to books. Your um, martial art books, particularly the older versions. I spoke about this the other day when I sold the other Kung Fu book. Um, religious books. Pagan books. Um, be on the lookout for them because at least they sell really quickly. So that sold for $13. Then... 
that was it for my sales, with the exception of my consignment item. Now, I'm really happy I was able to sell this. Um, I hope I didn't go too low. But the fact is, it would have only been sold for a dollar at the church, which is, well, maybe $2, which, I mean, I feel bad. It's like when I go through the, the church's stuff, and I know they're only going to put like a 50 cent price tag or a dollar price tag or what. It's like, I want to try to get them as, as much as I can. Well, this particular item sold for $60. And I just want to show you what it is. It is, um, this is a Mexican pottery. It's called Circle of Friends. It is a candle holder. And it really is beautiful. I mean, I don't know the age. I don't know the maker. There's no maker's mark. There's no nothing. But this is handcrafted um, stone pottery. And it's beautiful condition. I have no idea how old this is. I did have it up for $100. Went down. Sold it for $60. Got an offer. And I'm like, you know something? Let me take it. Because I want to start making them some money. They deserve it. They've helped me out so much. And I'm happy that I did this for them. So this sold for $60. A little concerned about the weight uh, for um, shipping, but I am going to wrap, 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 and go crazy, crazy with the wrapping. And I just hope it was it gets there safe and sound. If not, I will definitely um, I'll put extra insurance on it and make sure everything is okay. So with that, everyone, that was Monday's sale. Um, the total was $142.74, not bad, 60 of which is going to the church. So that's going to be a total of $82.74 for me. Not bad for a Monday. I did do something as an experiment. This is the first time I'm doing it. I'm keeping my fingers um, crossed on this because I want to see what happens. Generally speaking, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are my slowest days. And I wanted to do something to maybe bump up sales. So I started a store sale yesterday. And my store sale is anything over $25, I'm giving 15% off. And hopefully that's not too much. But I was looking at my $25 things and I'm like, yeah, it's time to do a store sale. Um, I do notice that I'm getting a lot more traffic. Like this morning, I did get a lot more offers. But I don't want to necessarily give an offer on top of a sale item. So I'm only giving offers on items that are not part of the sale. Because anything less than 25 is not getting um, a sale price. So I'm going to see what happens. Let's see what happens in a few days. Just did it last night. In fact, as soon as this sold, that was while, I mean, I was in the middle of typing up the offer and this sold. So I'm actually glad that this was not part of the uh, sale.